Genesis chapter 7, verse 4, Amplified Bible Version, The Flood. For in seven days I am going to cause it to rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will destroy every living thing that I have made from the surface of the earth. Genesis chapter 9, Amplified Bible Covenant of the Rainbow I will establish with you, never again shall all flesh be cut off by the water of a flood, nor ever there ever again be a flood to destroy and ruin the earth. And God said, This is, to this is a token of the solemn covenant which I am making between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I set my rainbow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. It shall come about when I bring clouds over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the clouds, and I will compassionately remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and never again will the water become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the rainbow is in the clouds and I look at it, I will solemnly remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And God said to Noah, This rainbow is the sign of the covenant the solemn pledge binding agreement which I have established between me and all living things on the earth. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 6 and 7, King James Version, Whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished, but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy, for loving us and tolerating our disobedience and our inhumanity, for continually forgiving of us of our sins, for being patient and long-suffering so that we do not perish. In the time of Noah, you were angry and allowed the rain to fall for 40 days and 40 nights, destroying the earth except for those in Noah's ark. Although it was your response to the lifestyle of the people, you made a promise that you would never destroy the earth again by flood. The Bible also tells us there is a time when you will unleash your wrath and there will be destruction by fire. Today, you know the magnitude of evil and oppression, the inhumanity that is blatantly present. We know you are angry and we know that there is an expiration to your patience in terms of grace. Help us to forsake our evil ways and uphold our agreement so that we can escape your wrath. When we see the rainbow in the clouds, help us to give you thanks for sparing the earth and allowing us the opportunity to make the change. Father, turn the hearts of evil men and women to forsake their ways and walk in the path of righteousness. We pray for the world today, for you to warn us all to make the change to turn away from evil, to turn our hearts to hear and obey your voice. We see the signs of what was spoken of in the Bible. We see the blatant manifestation of evil, the coldness and cruelty of today, and we know you can't be pleased. Have mercy upon us and save us from destruction. Help us to keep our hearts pure, to be strong in our faith and our commitment to you, to please you, with everything we do and say. Let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart, let it be acceptable in your sight. You are our Lord and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen.